What's up guys? We are here today in Wreckfest. We are going to check out what kind of tomfoolery, buffoonery we can get into. As Wreckfest is one of the most destructive games and a lot of people don't really know how to drive in it. As turn one is proving that. We go head on into a wall, a bus riding over top of people, those three cars going into a barrier over to our left. As in turn two, it is basically no different bus going end over end that semi was on its side earlier but let's go ahead and skip into the next corner as shadow government it looks like was trying to turn bomb me right there succeeding as as a matter of fact but let's go on and get into this corner lap three same corner as we've managed to successfully take over the semi but he doesn't seem to like that very much as he spins me out into the grass here we can see that exact same semi taking out Shadow Government, the same guy who turned bomb me earlier. Absolutely beautiful display as Shadow Government went into the air, end over end, flying, as he seems to agree. Shadow Government said that was beautiful himself down there at the bottom. I think we should get into the next corner though, because this Itachi guy, he seems to be having a battle with me, but he doesn't really know what he's doing apparently. He tried to get right in front of me, tried to block me, but he went straight into me. I turned bombed him, and basically he went right into the rocks. <laughs> what an idiot, honestly. But the semi truck from earlier, we saw him just absolutely get annihilated in that corner right there. Absolutely amazing stuff. The bus, uh, hopefully he gets him. No, he didn't. Rip. Unfortunate. Me and Vlad here, though. Me and him are just trying to fight for this 8th place, it looks like. 8th place, yep. As he decides to absolutely pit me into a wall. The semi-truck getting his revenge. Let's get into the second race, though, as it looks like we have chosen to go onto an oval. Map voting in this game is absolutely amazing. Shadow Government right beside me as he gets plowed into a wall. And a war digger just rides on top of everybody. A war digger on his side, war diggers going everywhere, a general lead going out to the end field, buses, semi trucks all spun out and everything. We got another bus right here going straight through the infield just to take those two guys out, blocking them from proceeding any further on the track. Shadow government tried to turn bomb somebody, went straight into a wall that's absolute karma right there, let's be honest. And these two buses. We love to see some bus on bus action here in Wreckfest. Some of the most glorious stuff you can ever see. They also love to see War Digger on War Digger action, but the War Digger missed, so he did not get to turn bomb his fellow War Digger. That semi truck, though, got to turn bomb the grandstand as he went flying into them. Let's move on, though, into turn four, first corner. I get absolutely annihilated by that War Digger. He did not like me at all. As we see Shadow Government actually making an appearance, just coming back on the track, I give him a little love tap, and then we squeeze ourselves between the semi and the guardrail. The War Digger somehow thinks he can do that, but he can't. As first place gets sent onto his side by that bus back there, we pass him. Absolutely amazing. Thank you to that bus. I couldn't have done it without you. Let's keep going though, as we're in here, lap seven in the final corner. That War Digger is taking two people out. I tried to sandwich that guy between the War Diggers, seeing how low HP he is. I did not succeed, though, as the bus tried to kill him, failed, and that guy took out the hearse. We're coming across the last corner. We see a bus taking a guy out. The bus manages to get the guy away from me that's behind me, and we finish first place. Whoever said being first meant you had to end this video though as we are going into our next race we chose a figure eight for some reason you already know figure eights are some of the most destructive tracks in the world this war digger here really seems to think so as he's trying to push me into a wall as that hearse though absolutely annihilates that guy sent him flying through a corner as the war digger actually succeeded that time in pushing me into the wall, but got instant karma as he went into the wall himself. 
That Hearst, though, taking out somebody again in an intersection this time. Let us keep going, though, into lap three, around the first two corners. We head straight into the intersection. We see those guys off to the right crashing each other as I get sent by a war digger and a bus into a fence on my roof. But we end up spawning beside a semi. That is possibly one of the worst positions to spawn in. As luckily he didn't have any ill intent for me, but that Mini Cooper up here did have some ill intent for that bus as we saw him ram straight on into that bus after the intersection. Absolutely amazing stuff. As we spin that freaking war digger through the intersection. Let's keep it going with intersections though as we see people flying everywhere. Ram head on into a bus. We saw a general lead going end over end in a barrel roll. Beautiful stuff right there as a bus ends up coming straight for me. I think that was the dead corpse of a bus though. But that guy just got rammed by another bus. I get rammed by General Lee over here. Another bus and a semi as well as a war digger treating that guy's corpse like it's a tennis ball. Sending him flying through the air. More carnage in an intersection. This game is probably one of the most destructive games that I've ever seen. Like I said earlier. It's absolutely amazing. Another intersection collision with the General Lee, and I think that was with the War Digger. I don't know. I didn't really get a good look at the other car, but let's just keep it going. Another dead corpse right there, right in the middle of the road. Terrible place to park, buddy. Hearst almost gets absolutely annihilated in that intersection as we find the two big boys themselves, the War Diggers. Let's just hope that nothing happens in this corner as I get turn bombed by one of them but I have to give him a little payback you know as we make it through the intersection safely and the war digger does not seem to like that at all as we make it into the next race that was our that was our ending let's see if the turn one team will last though as we make it to turn one and boy oh boy is it lasting oh my god God, there's a war digger, two buses, one long bus, one battle bus, and then there's a semi truck. As we've all just ended up into the wall. These guys that up here though seem like they're having a bit of trouble. As yeah, I was right. The battle bus and the war digger were having a lot of trouble. I don't know what kind of trouble these guys are having up here though, as everyone's going head on into the wall in this football field. I saw a general lee back there, upside down. As I phased through that guy, he was responding, so that was really lucky. As I don't know where that guy is going, though. He's going out into the abyss, I'm guessing. The semi truck, though, is fast approaching as that guy ends up, up onto his side, I guess. I go ahead and spin him out, though, and set to a fast car, so I don't want to deal with that. Let's keep it going, though, into the football field. As the hearse looks like he almost took somebody out. He failed though as he goes head on into the wall on the football field and there's a semi truck heading head on to me as I t-bone him into eternity. Supernatural seems to be impatient as he wanted me to go ahead and car start rolling. The moist fingers guy up here it looks like got annihilated by that bus as the bus got into the next turn. Supernatural and I fighting for second place. A hearse flying across the screen for some reason, God knows why, as me and Supernatural still try to fight for second place. He tries to spin me out, but I do not allow it in the least as he's fast approaching. I just go ahead, let him have that second place. I don't want to take the risk on a turn bomb. Supernatural is back in front of me though, getting turn bombed by a bus absolutely amazing stuff right there as some more people pile on into that corner with the hearse dead back there but we still got moist fingers up in front as it looks like somebody's taking him out yeah somebody took him out but didn't take him out completely it just slowed him down a good bit as i will end up giving him a love tap right here 
just a little gentle tap into the bridge just to remind him what he's up against whenever he tries to take the first back from me as he is definitely fast approaching i can tell that on the mini map yep he's definitely fast approaching i'm guessing a turn bomb right here yep there is a turn bomb right there in that intersection most people that use that car love to turn bomb so i know that very well by now but let's just keep it going through this corner hopefully no turn bombs but it looks like somebody is cutting through the infield on the mini map but let's just keep it going though we will break before that even happens and that was moist fingers trying to turn bomb me because he didn't get the chance to earlier i told you guys those people who use that car love to freaking turn bomb they love it might just be moist fingers maybe not but we'll see as we 360 across the finish line hopefully nobody else is going to be using that car as we start the next race a bus getting turn bombed by four cars as we go into turn one does the turn one meme live Eh, kinda. Two people go out with the bus, including a General Lee. We still got a hearse, which is absolutely turn bombing that guy. We got a war digger that almost went into a barrier. We got a battle bus, and we got some other smaller car in purple up here. Possum back there tried to make his way around me, but went into a fence. As there's some bus on bus action. One bus going over everybody's heads. Just absolutely barrel rolling. Another bus ended up into that area. As this guy tries to turn bomb me, I told you those people love to turn bomb. Those people that use that car love it. I don't know why. I don't know what kind of correlation there is with that car and turn bombing, but there's something there as we come across the next turn. I don't know what that guy was doing back there. Probably broke down as a bus just ends up heading straight into me. They are all using me like a ping pong ball. Oh my god, I got destroyed. Alright, let's just keep it going though as we meet our little friend here again. He tried to turn bomb me. So I think I will give him a little shove up here in this corner into the forest. Let's send him into the trees, make him go kiss one. And as Possum is back on my rear end, he gets slowed down back there for some reason as a bus decides to come and finish me off absolutely destroyed me and him both but we start on the next race fresh new slate as there's already a war digger just stopped in the middle of the road i give the freaking hearse a little shove he gives me a shove back it was a i think that was moist fingers back there that just got absolutely spun out the hearse tries to spin me out but fails uh, there's a bus going right through the intersection right there, though. I know there will be some consequences to pay whenever we see him. As the General Lee ends up on his side, and a hearse absolutely annihilates my back bumper. He just ends up into the wall with me, as there's the bus. Finally, we found him. Hopefully, he doesn't live for too much longer. We will see about that, though. A supernatural has made a return. Oh, that's a war digger. And I went straight into a tree because of that. My god, that's a hard hit. There's the war digger again. I'm guessing he reset. As we just go ahead and take out that guy, send him straight into a tree. That's our that's our version of karma. That's our version of revenge right there. Doesn't matter who, doesn't matter where, but that guy just got sent into a barrier as the General Lee and the hearse decide to go into a, a wall. I go ahead and give the General Lee a little love tap, you know? You know how it is. This guy is rejoining on the track. I go ahead and give him a little shove, and he somehow manages to save it. All right, then. He goes ahead and gives me a shove back as we are heading into the next corner. I think we're even now, though, so nothing to worry about. Never mind. There is something to worry about, as he just killed me. But oh well, let's go into the next race once again. It looks like we are on an oval once again. So we should be expecting some destruction. Oh, uh, yeah, this is the track I hate. Never mind. This is the track I really hate. This is the reason why I hate it. Turn one. And we are all in a wall. 
I think I saw a war digger flipping. That bus just annihilates that guy into a wall. A limo blocks my path as we have found Blue Dog and a war digger. The war digger takes out that guy. War Dog, Blue Dog, I'm hoping, will not do anything to me as that guy gets sent straight into a barrier that's absolutely annihilation. Blue Dog, hopefully, I'm not too confident about him being right there and he sends me straight to a bus yep that's just what i thought awesome please move thank you awesome is that little mini cooper still the war digger gets sent straight to a wall after being head on with that guy i go ahead and give blue dog some revenge of my own after he sent me to that bus earlier that guy just pulled out straight in front of me i don't know what his deal was blue dog tries to turn bomb me but gets hit by the hearse in an instant amount of karma let's go absolutely amazing that guy just got hit by a dead corpse on the bottom left right of my screen as the war digger and the bus go head on into each other i get into first going into the second lap amazing stuff right there let's just go into lap three where i get hit by a bus that's not amazing though and he comes back for seconds, deciding, oh no, I haven't had enough. I want more. Awesome Jenkins joins with me against the bus as the bus just keeps blocking us. He decides there are too many cars here, so he's just going to back off. Thank God for that. As the war ticker kills himself by just going straight on into us. I will go ahead and spin that guy out. Help him get back on track a little bit. The bus has come back once again. This guy's 1 HP right in front of me. I hope I can take him out. The bus denies me of my hopes right there. All my hopes and dreams. That guy got hit into the wall by a bus though. So hopefully that guy's out for the rest of the race. But let's just head on into the next corner. As we see a bus taking out General Lee back there once again. If you didn't know that's the name of that car. He tries to come back and block me, but I find a way around him. Dumb buses don't really uh, know that you can do that sometimes. A lot of the smarter buses do though, so props to them. But Possum Jenkins is going to be a real problem up here. It's, he's quickly gaining on, gaining space. He's like losing me pretty well. I saw that bus back there turn around too. Oh, he took out Possum for me. Let's go. Thank you, bus. Don't hit me for that bus. And I see somebody coming around on the minimap. Yeah, that's a war digger. We are out of that race. But good news is we are on into the next race. I see a guy back there going backwards. He looks like he's turning around. Uh, I have a bad feeling about that. As we head into the first corner, all the war diggers end up going into the wall as per usual. Turn one we did kind of last as we go into the uh, last corner almost that guy hits okay that was the guy who went backwards earlier the guy who was just waiting there as he sends about three or four cars flying one of them into me which sent me flying hopefully we can get around this guy though yep easy pass as we end up going across the finish line watching that guy flying through the air thanks to that bus oh my god but never mind that guy, I am more concerned about this war digger that's trying to pit me like his life depends on it. This guy's still here as we end up getting turned by him. Me and the war digger both going backwards. I managed to save it, though the war digger unfortunately does not. Well, fortunately for me, unfortunately for him. Second place ends up on his side as the bus tries to take him out. He doesn't end up taking him out unfortunate for that bus but let's just get through here the guy's still there i end up going end over and that was an absolute destructive wreck we got one of those station wagons i like to turn bomb in front of me again hopefully he doesn't like to turn bomb me when i pass him the bus tried to turn bomb me though there's second place again i accidentally end up Tagging the car behind the station wagon who ends up tagging the station wagon. Oh my god. Yeah, I told you these guys like the turn bomb I ended up in the most unlucky spot too. Oh crap 
Alright, let's see if we can get the guy back though, later on. That guy tried to get us both again, but he did not end up doing it. Uh, we managed to avoid him this time, as I also avoided that bus. Here's the station wagon again. Okay, I caught up. Let's go. Okay, that guy tried to turn, tried to take us both out again as I peek out the station wagon, getting my revenge, putting him back two positions, and GG's as I get third place across the finish line. Let's go. 360. Never mind all that though. Let's get into the next race as it looks to be one of my favorite circuits especially here on turn one you will see why here in a second as we are getting turn bomb by supernatural everybody else behind us is turn bombing each other supernatural spun out thank god as we are now getting turn bomb by lowercase letters we get turn bomb by a bus and two war diggers as we rejoin on track Back behind the lawnmower. You can only wonder why that guy's in the lawnmower and I, he did the turn bomb. He, he got in the lawnmower to turn bomb. Alright then. The guy ended up flying though. <laughs> nice job to him, I guess. These guys end up going end over end over to our left as we try to turn bomb supernatural and lowercase letters. Lowercase letters end up going into the bus turn bombing the bus at the same time as this war digger and general lee turn bomb each other i barely make the gap but do not break enough in time to be able to break before that little barrier right there as we are heading around the next corner the war digger decides to turn bomb me i end up over the barrier which is a lot better than into it as we got a bus here as well that guy is going in to the grass I guess I don't know what that guy was doing but these guys up here are absolutely ramming each other into that wall oh my god the war digger managed to get away but the other car didn't oh well but we'll see what happens this war digger seems like he's trying to let me ahead of him I'm not gonna let him though I'm not going ahead of this guy he's just gonna turn bomb me so I'm just gonna keep pushing him let's just keep pushing him pushing him and turn bomb him Nice. That guy's got a shark on top of his car. The lawnmower freaking pushed me from behind just now. I don't know what that was, but okay. As we end up in the last corner, I end up turn bombing the wall off of that little dirt mound back there. Let's go ahead and block this guy, hopefully. No, nope, never mind, I guess not. Let's just cross the line in 13th, I guess. Because why not? Alright. Now for the last race of this video, we got the bus automatically turned the war digger around as the bus also tries to kill us all. He kills one guy, but that's about it. Let's head into the next lap where I demolish that guy in the intersection with the T-bone. I forget to mention, this is a figure eight, so it's going to be a really destructive map as I get absolutely annihilated by that war digger annihilating that guy once again look at his car now it's practically undrivable as the war digger takes out that semi up there i take out this guy i'm not sure what kind of car he's driving but he managed to save it i didn't as i'm up on my roof rejoining the race i see the limo has a casket on it all right then that's nice to know, I guess. But let's just go ahead and get into this next corner. We did not make it into the intersection this time, as we all piled up this time instead. All of us absolutely being destroyed by that crash. That was insane. But let's head into the ninth lap, where we see people just absolutely destroying each other on walls and that war digger took out the limo with the casket on it that guy tries to turn me but it fails he probably ended up in a wall somewhere and we end up on the last lap finishing in third what an absolutely insane race all right guys like and subscribe if you guys want more content comment down below 
which race was you guys' favorite, what kind of wreck was your favorite, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.